you know, it, it's very much in the news. Uh, the election is sort of unfolding. There have been questions about the electoral council or the provisional council, electoral council. I'd like to get your, your thoughts about how this is unfolding and where do you see this going, particularly after the election. The Haiti today, um, as you know, we came from very far. We came a long way. In 2010, there was the, probably the worst uh, event in our history, which is a, a devastating earthquake that took away 250,000 lives and that wounded 500,000. So we found a country in shambles. We had half of the population of Port-au-Prince under the tents. 1.5 million Haitians were living in basically in camps on the streets, in the middle of the streets everywhere. Um, that's, that's what we found. We found an education system in shambles. And uh, you know, that was our immediate uh, you know, business was to attend to, to the, the less fortunate and, and the victims of the earthquake. So a lot of work has been done. Um, today, we are going through uh, an electoral process where there is about 129 political parties and 54 candidates, presidential candidates, participating in the, in the election. Um, the, the election is in three rounds. One round was in the 9th of August, which was uh, uh, a very difficult day uh, for the Electoral Council, that there was many allegations of uh, violence, of fraud, and, and everything else. They promised to rectify um, the process and to make it more transparent. We hope that it does, because uh, similar to my case, where I felt, and many people in Haiti felt, that I was unjustly ousted from the election or not allowed to run um, because they asked me for a document, a clearance document, that I only the Haitian parliament, the Haitian Congress can, can give. Um, however, the Congress was uh, not working or was closed since January 12th. So it was, um, it was mission impossible to get a document in an office that doesn't exist. So we got a court order, um, and the court order mandated the Electoral Council to not reject us based on uh, not having this clearance certificate. And they ignored it, and they just uh, um, you know, went, went their way and, uh, and ousted many people. Over 250 candidates were not allowed to participate in the election. And, uh, and I said that the process was rigged. And uh, you know, and August 9th showed it. And now, however, you know, we the, the country is moving forward. So I, I came to the realization that you know, in order to 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 lead, you have to think of the country first. And that's what uh, that's what I've done. And I'm concentrating. And I hope that the process is fair, is uh, open, is uh, is it will be you know a credible process to allow the Haitian people to, to, to elect the person of their choice and not, not no interference from Electoral Council the members. Just one more question on this, uh, Prime Minister. But if you say, as it says, the legitimacy of this process is questioned, right? With your case and other cases, and the violence and the fraud, et cetera. What happens if someone is elected but doesn't have that legitimacy. How does one govern in that political environment in which the president doesn't have the legitimacy that comes as a result of an electorate? And this is ex that's an excellent question. And this is why we said from the beginning that the people should elect the leader of their choice, not the electoral council to make a selection of people that they feel should participate in the process. And that goes with the legitimacy of the process. That goes certainly with the credibility of the process to let the people from the list of 54, only one can be elected anyways. Um, however, this is what it is today. And uh, this is the, the reality of the situation. So you know, from the, from the pool of 54, um, and we hope that there is no violence. We hope that, because the election is in two weeks, we hope that, it's, um, that everything goes well and, uh, and that, the, that the best candidate wins. Um, you know, it's unfortunate, though, that not everybody, that it wasn't a transparent process from the beginning, that not everybody was able to go. But um, the country has to move forward and, uh, and you know, may the best person win. And 
the Electoral Council should allow uh, the Haitian people to choose their leader, not nine members of a council. Thank you.